Hey guys, Jake and James here with another tutorial. Today we're talking about how to get the best quality from your export settings within Adobe Premiere Pro. Yep, so we've just used one of our own projects called the Ranger. Uh, if you haven't watched that, look at that down below. We'll go straight into it in our file, Export Media. So the first thing you're gonna look at when exporting uh, your project is the format. We're gonna go for H.264. You don't really need to know why H.264. It's just, just trust us, it's the best format. Yeah, then going on your presets, let's start with one that you're gonna well, you've been using it in your project, so for us it was a 4K one, so we've gone on the YouTube 4K. Yeah, when it comes to the preset, it doesn't matter too much because obviously we're adjusting these anyway. And the very first thing you want to do is designate where you're going to save it. Okay, so next you want to go down to your basic video settings. This is the main part of exporting in Premiere. So this is a general 4K, but we'll take it down to a 1080 version, um, as this is what most people will deal with. So easy those numbers. Now when you look at your frame rate, you just want that to match what your source is and as simple as that. Now on your aspect ratio, make sure this stays as square pixels because anything else will just look crap. Yeah, your profile, main is for your standard definition footage, high is for your high def, um, which is obviously what you'd use for, for Blu-rays, stuff like that. Um, obviously we're in HD, so we're gonna set that to high this video. And then you wanna keep your level just as high as you can, so it's easy just to keep it matching the source and also ticking that render at maximum depth. It does take a little longer, but it means your quality of your footage will be the best. Okay, so now we're going to move on to the bitrate settings. On your bitrate encoding, you're going to have three options within it. Your CBR, VBR, one pass and two pass. CBR is constant bitrate, just ignore that one. VBR one pass means it'll do everything in one go. Two pass means it does one pass to code and one pass to execute. So you always want to do VBR two pass for better quality, takes a bit longer, but remember, better quality. Okay, so your target and maximum bitrate. Um, due to YouTube compressions, this um, doesn't need to be as high as a lot of people think. For 4K footage, you can go for 15, 100. Anything below 4K, if you're just doing normal full HD, somewhere around 15 and your maximum around double that. Again, this is probably still overkill, but it's nice to have that extra room to play with. Maximum bitrate doesn't change your file size, but still gives you that nice extra breathing room. And the last little bit with advanced settings and VR video, just ignore these for now. We're not doing VR, the advanced settings don't matter. These are just things you're never gonna really look at. One of the last things for your video export settings is to tick use maximum render quality at the bottom. This will increase the quality, but will also increase the time it takes to render. Yeah, and finally, just in case you need to keep an eye on the file size, it'll keep you updated down the bottom as you change your target bitrate. So just keep this in mind. Obviously, the bigger the file, the longer it's gonna take. Okay, and finally, when you're ready to export, you can just hit the export button, which means it will export in Premiere itself. Um, or you can hit the Q button, which means it will go and export in Adobe Media Encoder, which basically means you can um, queue your exports, you can do more than one at a time, you can pause and resume, and also you can carry on editing other projects within Premiere. Yeah, so if you click on that custom, it shows you it's just the exactly same menu, and all you gotta do is press that play button, and then it'll start encoding, giving you your remaining time, and well, it's as simple as that. Yeah, hope you guys, uh, put these settings to use um, and get the maximum quality out of your videos for YouTube. So please remember to give us a like and subscribe to the channel and we hope to see you again on our next video. Thanks for watching guys.